Hi everyone and welcome back to the London Watch Collector channel. So guys, just before we dive into the review, I have an exciting one. As you guys know, I do lots of partnership with Bosphorus Leather because they are the best in what they do. They have amazing products, amazing designs, I'm actually working with them on a watch trunk for 21 watches because as you guys know I'll be revealing my 21 watch collection in a couple of months and I wanted to share this with you guys because as you guys know it's Black Friday and Bosphorus Leather has amazing products and lots of savings that you guys can do. We're talking about thousands of dollars of savings. So do check them out, make sure you subscribe, put in your email address and your name and you'll receive a VIP invitation explaining to you all the perks of this offer if you're looking for a watch roll or a watch collector's case make sure to check them out i'll leave everything in the description below so guys as you can see from the title this is a very special one this is me buying another steel rolex daytona and by all means this is not me flexing or trying to brag i actually want to shed some light and let you in on how am i able to purchase two daytonas at retail in quite a short time and what steps you guys can take to be able to get one and i'm trying to make this inspirational 2015 i bought my first rolex I thought back then that's the only Rolex I'll be able to buy, but six years down the lines, I was able to acquire everything I wanted, everything I wished for, everything that I thought is only a dream. And you guys should never give up. Keep your aim, keep your target, keep working hard, and there's nothing you cannot achieve. So taking you back to early 2018 when I picked up my Rolex Daytona, the Panda, the 116500LN. So this was my grail. It is still my grail. It is so beautiful. It is mesmerizing. It is my favorite Daytona in current production now. And I would choose it over the black all day, any day, and twice on Sunday. But the thing is, with Daytonas, they are so aesthetically pleasing that you want to own them all. And if you guys remember, I bought the 116520 back in 2019, and I took it into Rolex Service Center. I did a full service for it, got it polished, put a new bezel, a new sapphire crystal. If you haven't watched my Rolex service experience, I recommend you watch it to give you a full insight on what I did to the Rolex to make it brand new. But guys, the 116520 is actually gone. I realize that I'm the modern type of guy. I prefer modern over vintage. I'll make another video on why the 116520 is gone. Since then, I've been itching for a black Daytona. So I let my AD know. And the funny story, the black Daytona was available for me to pick up back in May, but I wasn't in London, so I was unable to pick it up. So once I'm back, I let them know that I'm back. The day came when they sent me the message and oh boy, I was over the moon and I vlogged it all for you. So let's go ahead and pick up the black dial Rolex Daytona. So unfortunately, I'm unable to tell you who's this AD, where exactly I got it from, just so that they don't get bombarded with lots of calls, lots of people asking for it. I've been dealing with this AD for the last couple of years. I've done many and large purchases from them. I gradually built my profile to be able to get a Daytona. So the first Daytona I got, the Panda, that was in 2018. That was from a different country. It wasn't in the UK. And I had a relationship with them back from 2015 when the hype was never there. And when I showed interest for the Daytona, I actually had to wait roughly a year and three months. And my salesperson back then really pushed for me to get me on the list because that was only my third purchase. And everything I bought from them was steel professional watches because you know me guys, I'm only into steel, mostly professional, but I'm trying to diverse now. But back then, as I said, I was into watches before the crazy hype. So that meant something with the previous AD. But in London, I dealt with a couple of ADs and the last year and a half, I've stuck to 
one AD because I realized there's no point spending your money in three, four different ADs and to be able to build the relationship to get the watches you want instead of doing it with three, four different ADs, just select one, the one you feel comfortable with, the one you connect with, the current AD I deal with. We have a friendship and that means a lot. That means a lot to me. That means a lot to the AD. And the more they know you, the more you know them. It is all about the relationship. And that is what Rolex and Patek and these top brands actually want. They want the connection. They don't want the flippers that come in, buy a stainless steel Rolex and flip it for a quick buck. That's what they're trying to avoid. And believe me, guys, a flipper will always get caught, regardless of how many times he gets away with it. Eventually, they will get caught and they will lose and they'll be blacklisted. Rolex has been introducing watches for more than a century and they're going to continue producing watches. So it's not worth flipping a watch to gain that extra profit, which will probably go to waste on something useless. You should buy what you like, wear what you enjoy. And that's the main secret, guys. Build your relationship with an AD, connect with them and be patient, of course. That's the advice I can actually give you. But if if you expect to walk in to pick up a Daytona, it's never going to happen, especially in 2021. I know it's unfair at times because people just want one Rolex and it might be the Daytona and that's quite a shame, but this is what happens with the hype. This is what happens when everyone wants a Daytona. As you guys know, I always wear my Skydweller when I pick up a new watch. And there you go, guys. That's the latest addition to the collection, the Rolex Daytona 116500LN in a black dial. So I'm back home having both the black and white dial next to each other. I'm obviously going to do a full unboxing of this beautiful timepiece in the coming weeks. So to answer your question, why do I need two Daytonas? Because I'm planning on transforming it to make it a different watch. I'm doing something crazy. I've never seen a video on it being done. And it's going to give it a new look, a special look. And it's going to be probably my daily wearer for the next year or so. Honestly, I'm excited. In the next couple of weeks, I have lots of exciting videos for you guys. A couple of more incomings, a couple of more vlogs. And I have a very exciting video before revealing my watch collection or state of the collection i'm going to be sharing with you guys the day that i started watch collecting which was back in 2015 september to be exact until today i'm going to share with you every purchase i did every watch i bought and once that is done i'll do a follow-up video which is my state of the collection showing you the watches i'm keeping so stay tuned for that and i'll see you next week that's all for this week thank you for watching